Hi, I'm Steve Meadows. Uh, this is uh, called Parabounce, and this is the Parabike that I uh, invented to give the Parabounce flight. This is a human-powered aerostat. It has elevators and a rudder to give you both height control and left and right control. The 22-foot diameter balloon is filled with helium. The bike itself rotates around a center pivot and the balloon stays stationary. So when you want to turn, you just turn the bike and pedal and then the balloon will go in that direction. So if you want to go left or right, you just use the lever on this side. If you want to go up or down, you use this lever. Awesome. We're demonstrating the bike in anticipation of uh, finding sponsorships to help us fly it over the Grand Canyon. And after flying it over the Grand Canyon, what we want to do is develop uh, large air inflated domes where people can go inside these domes. The domes could be two or 300 feet high, four or five acres in size. And you could put 20 or 30 of these inside and you would actually have 3D bumper cars and people ping-ponging off the walls and ceiling and each other. And you can project giant images on the side walls and the top of the dome of say the Swiss Alps or the New York skyline and you could coast along and, and feel that you're actually in the Swiss Alps or, the, or flying over New York City. Uh, along with surround sound, you can have simulcast video of the person in the bike so they can look up on the wall of the dome and they can see themselves flying and then we can stream that video to their computer. Um, there's a lot of applications for this in terms of the amusement industry. We also have been able to put people that are physically challenged and allow them to fly. Uh, anyone from 8 to 98 can do this. So it has a lot of uses. The first order of business for us right now is this Grand Canyon flight that we want to make next year in August. And prior to the actual flight, we're going to do three or four test flights um, in the Los Angeles area and some up near Las Vegas. So we have test flights at the altitude of the actual Grand Canyon.